for Griff. Hopefully he'll pop up at some point. Wait, did my stream end? Okay, good. Um, all right. Ooh, intro question. Does anyone have a good intro question for this week? What's what's something that we haven't covered? Oh, how about this? Coffee or tea? Uh, I'll start. I am absolutely a coffee person. Um, and intentions for this meeting are um, got to figure out, uh, make sure that we're on course to have everything ready to support the commons upgrade when the hatch completes. I think we have two or three weeks left. So that close on time, end in sight. I uh, want to make sure we are going to clear our uh, milestones by then. And I will pass it to Nuggin. Hey, um, yeah, I'm definitely also a coffee person, 100%. And intentions, uh, just also catch up, see how everything's going. Um, yeah, mainly that. And I'll pass it to Sam. Let's say that I have a problem with coffee. Um, if I don't get a cup of coffee, I don't feel as sharp as I used to be. I don't know if you can relate to this, to this um, uh, feeling, Absolutely. like uh, you are just less you. <laughs> and I think that I need some kind of detoxication. It is, coffee is healthy. But it removes some of the, it makes it difficult for some of the things in the brain to work. So it's important to do some detoxic, uh, not detoxication, but stop uh, having coffee for some days and then you can come back again. Uh, and I think that I need to do it. Intentions for the call, I like to show off the NFT um, page that we have been working for the hats and give some updates. Actually, uh, Bradley, you, you can write there, same is the worst. Uh, he promised to have the post for the augmented bonding curve. You, you, you can just write. Uh, Sam is the worst <laughs> because I don't have it. Um, but I think that I still can uh, give some updates that are cool in this meeting. And um, I, I just will pass it to, to Chui. Thank you, Sam. Uh, <clears throat> uh, definitely a coffee person. However, uh, uh, um, I, I haven't recovered from like the super concentrated European coffee, uh, and I've been getting like sick when I taste coffee, <laughs> like regular coffee. Uh, so probably it's my is my signal to <clears throat> get away from it uh, for a little bit. I I relate to what Sam said about. Uh, Coffee detox is good once in a while. And you know, there's always tea, uh, which isn't bad. And you can get like different options. So tea is also good. I'll try to, I'll try to switch uh, for the next couple of months. And <clears throat> um, for intentions, um, I've, been, uh, I've been working on a, on a draft for like a, uh, for a final, uh, like forum post uh, from the common swarm to to one hive, and I talked to Stonky about uh, including this. Uh, however, I would still like to tweak it uh, a little bit more and and probably add some final touches uh, on our one on one sem. So <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to make it on Wednesday, uh, but we sure. can probably hack a a around that. <clears throat> and I'll pass it to Griff. Yeah, so I'm actually in a coffee detox right now. I'm I'm clean. I'm clean. Okay, actually, I, fuck, I had coffee today. Eduardo, Eduardo did it. He he was like, hey, can we meet up for coffee? And so I did have coffee today. But I, I've since since I went to Costa Rica, which was 
about two months ago, I probably had coffee less than six times. And every time it was, except for today, today was the first recreational use. The other were performance enhancing, right? Like before I went up on stage um, for my talk in, uh, in, for FCC, I had some coffee. Uh, days where I get no sleep and I just need the energy, you know? Because when you go on the detox, like coffee can be a drug. Like it can be like steroids, you know? It can be like when you need to hit that home run, you just juice a little bit and you're good to go. Uh, and then, yeah, so coffee detox currently. And I'll probably keep that going for as long as I can. I only, I had like, Probably three years where I didn't drink coffee regularly to keep it, keep that flow. And then I had this COVID year. I just got in the habit of drinking coffee. Um, uh, intentions. Uh, there, is a per, there is a parameters discussion going on in the Telegram group. And so I just want that to be uh, put in. And uh, then... Uh, discussing blockers for getting a gardens demo up and I think that's it and I'll pass it to Nuggin hey Nuggin hey I already went so I'll pass it on to Pavel hey everyone (laughs) I just came in Uh, what was the question questions are you a coffee or a tea person I'm definitely a uh, tea person. I love co- uh, coffee, by the way, but it's like, uh, I'm, I'm from Ukraine and we have like a long tradition in, in coffee. I own tea there. So, mm. yeah, um, I'm here for thinking and yeah, maybe I'd like to, to make a call with Sam about the, the issue uh, we made, I, I was going to make like last week and that's it. Uh, I don't know who's Gwen, so I'll pass it to Bradley. Um, all right, Pavel. In in Ukraine, uh, do you do like black tea? Do you do you do like um, how do they serve tea there? What's the what's the custom? Yeah, I'm like uh, like I mainly like drink black tea with uh, maybe it's not like the traditional tea, but I like tea with uh, with lemon and sugar <laughs> and um, also green tea. Green tea is, is like a big deal there. And yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Uh, I think we haven't hit Zeptimus yet. No, thank you, Radley. Yeah, I'm also with uh, Pavel. I like tea more than coffee. I actually don't like coffee. Uh, and yeah, my intention is to sing with you guys and yeah, uh, keep keep updated. Uh, I'll pass it to Vitor. I think he's the last one. Yeah, uh, I definitely prefer coffee, but like after uh, beginning of the after uh, like after midday, I start to drink in tea because otherwise, like massive for sleep. And yeah, intentions for the call just to check out how things are going, give some. Uh, updates and prams, and that's it. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let's move in. Um, so I would really like to reset on the timing for the when the hatch is going to complete and when the commons upgrade needs to happen, just so that we're all like super clear on on what timeline we're hitting. Um, and I think Griff might be the best person to catch us up on that. You're muted. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, 12 days. Uh, actually, 11 days, 23 hours, and 45 minutes from now, the hatch is over. So less than 12 days from this moment right now, we need to get every motherfucking trusted seed member to put their money in this shit. Um, and then uh, after that, we can song and dance for a little bit. Uh, I assume the parameters um, dashboard will not quite be ready, but hopefully we'll have some like interactive things that people can start learning and maybe do the token, the token thaw piece at least. I'm hoping that like I'm I'm like uh, uh, actually after a conversation with Fabio, we were talking about 
initializing some sort of daily stand-ups for the for the parameters team. I'm gonna see if Vitor and, and Marco are and Mitch are down for that. Although I think both Mitch and Marco are kind of sort of on vacation a little bit. Not really, but kind of. So stand-ups may be difficult. But um, at least Vitor, Nuggin, and Fabio, and anyone else who wants to push the pre- dashboard forward, it'd be really nice to get something to hand them to play with on the, uh, at the moment. But I imagine the dashboard won't be ready for about... Vitor, what's your best... Do you have a best guess two weeks after the hatch, like a month from now? We actually have a working product. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I think the like after we finish the model, yeah, I think it's the it's it's hard to predict because like front end development, like and the design, but yeah, I think a month, like if we stretch we can do that. Yeah. I, I think a month is a fair estimate from now that we have the dashboard going. And I think a month after that for actually having a decision on on these things. Probably uh, three weeks for the first round of uh, parameter debates and and submissions, and then uh, a week for the runoff, and then we'll have the final parameters. So that gives us about sixty days from now to be ready, and that means hopefully we'll have had several demos, and we will not have like we will be ready like i really don't want us to be like oh yeah let's just align our efforts with that let's try to be ready to launch this thing like you know 40 days from now uh and try to keep our timelines because the the commons dashboard is the slow step hopefully right and the voting process and uh and so like my my pseudo plan at least socially is to I have a couple of proposals, and I think the community has a few proposals to discuss about um, do we give governance to the uh, rights to the um, impact hour holders? And um, there were, there's a maybe, maybe we could also discuss if we want to include a um, interest bearing token if agave or something on. Um, on XDI seems promising. Uh, and maybe there'll be some other votes that we can manufacture or something. So we're socially like having a good time voting on things as a DAO uh, and engaged, maintaining engagement. But, um, but I can only do that dance for about two weeks. And so hopefully by then the parameters thing is up. Got it. Uh, Thanks, I would Jared. say uh, I would say that this um, i- in order to have the governance token for the impact hours people, um, it will change um, dramatically the the configuration of the DAO. So if uh, we should know uh, beforehand if something like this is is going to happen. Yeah, that, that, will, that will have to be that will be a vote that we do like right away. Um, in uh, and then it, and then we'll have the whole config dashboard month to work with that result. Okay, because this is something that could delay the the launch of the common to grade for sure. I mean. I still didn't uh, get into it. I don't know if we have this voting aggregator. Uh, I don't know. I, I I still didn't get into it. Um, maybe it's time to to get into it if that is something that is still on the table and um, and assess which would be the impact on the schedule. Well, worst case scenario, we can always include the make it in make it an integer instead of an unsigned integer right and just see if brett says that's okay i say that it's not okay uh, i mean it's a very bad idea yeah i i already said that before it's a very bad idea because not not because of the integer but because of the mechanism that we have to change this integer 
Yes, this is true, but if we don't have a dev team to really support us, we have to make do with what we can, you know? Uh, uh, the, uh, the thing is that if you start um, creating uh, bad quality, um, it is important that if the things that cannot be done, to not be done, um, if if there is if there are not the resources for doing that it's because if not it the the dao will will take a very bad path um and there are things that it's it's better <laughs> to keep simple really still uh this is something that will be not that difficult to do with um oops I, I i just got muted uh this is something that will not be difficult to to do with the voting aggregator but still uh it might change the um, the schedule and if so. we wanted to do that if we wanted so like you know the, whether we um whether we use the it, let's say that it doesn't pass in the voting uh that we're not going to give uh just infinite vesting to uh to for governance rights for for this circumstance but we might want to do it late I, there is a very clear use case to do that later for um other features um so having that functionality uh available is like um is something that's pretty important to me at least because i there are it's been validated that there are groups of people that really just want governance rights and not necessarily um the financial uh speculative section of those governance rights and so they would be very happy to contribute to the conviction voting pool if like the common pool if they had got governance rights for that and so that functionality is something that will be on the roadmap and so it, would we need the voting aggregator set up beforehand i think that taking into account these kind of things is yeah is is important uh of course things can be changed later by operating the apps but yeah sure uh, is it something that shouldn't be discussed for future commons, not for for TEC? No, for the TEC as well. But the thing is, if that's the question, is if it can be upgraded, then it's fine. As long as it's as long as we can upgrade into it, then it's chill. You know, then we keep it out of scope and not worry about it. But if we're if we haven't validated that we can upgrade into it, then then I have some fear. I mean, anything in TC is upgradable. The, th the problem is that it is like oper uh, operating in oper operating a heart while it's still working. I, I, I don't know which is the expression in English, but it's like... Open heart surgery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, is, it is something that you probably want to avoid. Um, well, in this I, case, it'd be the conviction voting pool that we'd be upgrading, right? Well, it is allowed by itself. You are giving new tokens to people. Uh, meanwhile, old people already have tokens. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what people think. If they want to give tokens to to the new people, then uh, it is something that can be in some way arranged. Yeah, the, the functionality that I'm speaking of is if someone wants to just donate to the TEC, but then receive governance rights, uh, they wouldn't send it to the bonding curve. They would actually send it straight to the common pool, but then get tokens in return. And it's not a feature we need at launch, but it is a feature that we, that the TEC, 
that like grant giving organizations have straight up said we can't do speculative rights, but it'd be really cool to have tokens and be able to participate in that way. So, but like grant giving organizations have, they can't hold speculative tokens. So like we're just missing out on that functionality if we don't, um, you know, give them but something. But what would be the price of that token? Like to Nothing. It wouldn't, the token, they, it would be pure governance rights. There would never be a price for that token. They would just have governance rights in the DAO. Yeah, but, but I mean, yes, like if how it, much? Yeah, how ahead. much governance goes? Yeah, like the, the bonding curve gives it, uh, specifies how much governance power you get from the price you pay. If you directly buy the voting power, what, sh what price are you paying per vote in the end? Th that would that would have to be uh, um, mapped out and proposed to the DAO. This is a thing; it's not spec'd out at all. But the the but the only thing I have validated is the demand for the functionality. Okay, understand. Okay, I will say that um, the priority things is to launch the the common operate and. This can be something that probably is better to check out before we launch it. But I will not um, worry if the first version of TC is not able to operate to something like that. Um, we will figure it out later. I, I don't think that it's something that ha should be changed in at least three to six months, Griff. It's not a functionality that you want in the next three to six months. Yeah, six months would be the soonest, I would imagine it. There would be a lot of other kinks to work out, I'm sure, within the TEC before we're smooth sailing and starting to add those kinds of features. And it's also, the, the token thing is not going to last, uh, well, we don't know how much it's going to last, but just take into I, account that the, while the token vesting is active, the DAO cannot be migrated to a new DAO. But for the rest of the things, the DAO is upgradable and so things can be done in the same DAO. Uh, the thing is that I, I would like to cut off the scope a little, uh, like have what we already have and from there uh, see and that there are many things to be done uh, look for new developers uh, that can work in this in the smart contracts and I think that it's it's not going to be something that can be done uh, sooner than later uh, that soon can I say something yeah Please? sure yeah um maybe it's um to give the possibility to to groups that can give grants but cannot hold speculative tokens make it would be maybe it would be easier instead of creating a whole new kind of governance stuff just to um, be able to delegate voting power so the tc could buy the tokens for the for the organization delegate the whole voting power to the organization and when the, and when the org wants to get out, the the TC would sell them again. Uh, maybe even get some funding for the commons pool automatically, and and something like that. Maybe if you, do, you wouldn't have to kind of mess with the whole system, but just change this little thing that you can delegate your vote. I think vote delegation and conviction voting might be harder than than what we're proposed than oh, okay. researching the vote aggregator. Unfortunately. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, Sam. Maybe. Yeah, it is something that we we discussed that the delegation on normal voting is is okay, but it still needs to be you need you still need to have the token in order to delegate it. So for this case, it will not be possible either. And for conviction voting, we have discussed that it's a bad idea to delegate votes because of the very low threshold that you have when you are going to pass a proposal 
if you start if you allow delegation then you probably will need to um put a higher threshold which is something that on how conviction voting works it's not something that we want we want a low threshold for people to be able to ask for funds uh even if the community the entire community uh, is not um, um ag agreeing with that smaller groups of the community can still be funded this okay. is the um, yeah so um, yeah for for conviction voting it's not something that we want uh, I think that still the the proper way to do that is have a different token that has governance go governance power, and probably it's just checking how the, how Ardent works. I think that in some way it is already supported because Agave wanted some something like this, but I have to check out. Um, yeah, so that that's that's it. Um, I think that it's something that is out of the current scope of the work, so let's uh, keep working on this and uh, at least have some idea on how these other fe features could be included in the future. Do you, do you agree, Griff? Yeah, I think um, one hour of research is probably would probably be enough, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, so more or less, it has a, a sense uh, one month to dashboard to go live, and then after the dashboard, we have three three weeks of uh, debate and one week of runoff. So it is. Two two months in order from now, in order to have the the conviction and the common upgrade plus the demos. Um. So if if you want, we can start with how how is the state of of everything. Um. I. I have started working on the uh, forum for the for presenting the augmented bonding curve to to one hive. My idea to is to write three posts instead of one. Uh, one for the bonding curve, another for the hatch, and another for the EBM CRISPR. So the idea is to present these three products, finished products, to to one half as the outcomes of the funding that they gave, gave us. Um, and the first one, it's like, uh, in the first one we are presenting the, the smart contract of a plug and play bonding curve. You can just install it in a DAO very easily and the front end of it. And this post is, is the one that we can um, Pass to Brett in order for it to for for to for the validation of the smart contract, but the idea is that it is also serving as documentation and at the same time communication for one hive. And I didn't dedicate so much time this week in order to do that. I I have been working on on other stuff that I can also share with you because it's relevant for the common swarm. Um, but the this specific post, I am I am currently working on it, and I hope that I ha I can have it uh, for tomorrow. Um, I will just work on it this night and and just post it on one hive. Um, I am and I am sorry because I said last week that I will have in 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 two days, and I didn't have I I just worked on other stuff so um, Pablo is, is not here either um, 
he also was working on the EBM CRISPR and the common upgrade. Um, but Paulo is uh, had the vaccine today, so he is a little bit. Uh, he could not attend this call. Yeah. But um, the EBM, the EBM CRISPR and he, he has also been working with me on stuff that of the NFTs and. We didn't advance so much with the IBM CRISPR. Um, let's say that it is in a similar um, in a similar state than last week. Um, we we just been sharing some ideas on how to improve it, but didn't do uh, meaningful work on on advancing the. Um, the common upgrade. Um, we also have been founding some of some problems on on garden that we have to fix because they are blocking the the TC on on Rinkeby. So it is. Uh, let's say that there are new. <laughs> we are going backwards in some way. Um, it is. It, it was more difficult than. We we expected. Uh, the the good thing is that we are working with the gardens team in order to uh, fix these things, and we hope that we can have it uh, during this week. Also, I also wanted to show the NFT thing, but maybe we can. I don't know if there was other things that we wanted to discuss. We have discussed about yeah. the all the things, uh, including the common dashboard. Right. And I also know that Pavel wanted to to have a call with me for the gardens part. The the thing, Pavel, is that uh, it is not fully working right now. Um, the the graph is has been upgraded, but there is something that is not working in gardens that we are figuring out what it is. They they are just not lo not loading. Okay. Um. Oh, go ahead. Go, go, Pavel? go on, brother. No, no, Pavel. I'm going to change the topic just a little bit. So go ahead and ask your question. Oh, is, is that, was that a question about something, Sam? Or... Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you were asking for a call or something yeah, uh, with yeah, me in order to asking. advance on that. I mean, it, it was just this 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 little thing. Like uh, last week, we said I had to like break the uh, upgrade the images and stuff for the for the TC and in, in, in gardens, and I had some some. Uh, some questions on that, and that's that's it. It's like the really short stuff. I think that you you already had those right. Uh, yeah. We we have been working on this, and you had uh, the cool picture, the some cool pictures for that, and it was uh, looking good already. So I just want the the pull request on on gardens in order to have the TC. Um, and the TC gardens on place. It's like it's already made, but but I have to pull to post this pull request. I think so. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, you already have it. I I, I know, but because when you were with me, I I watched it in, in your computer. So. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember that thing. But I, I I just I was like it was some weeks ago, and it was like a lot of stuff after that, and I was like, where am? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we we can talk about that. And Bradley, did you I, want to continue? Yeah, can I ask a question? Um, I know I th um, it sounds like Sam has a really clear idea of what needs to be accomplished in order for us to meet our goals. Um, but I wonder how clear everyone is on what success looks like for us to to deliver here. Like, does everyone know what the user flow is going to look like? You know, is, is everyone on the same page in terms of like what steps need to happen uh, in order to make the commons upgrade? 
Um, is that just like, is it only me that's a little unclear about that? Guys? I'm sure you're not the only one. Okay. So um, I, I just, I have a suggestion here. And um, thinking about, uh, this is actually something that I learned uh, through a bunch of hackathons. Um, but the sooner you start thinking about like planning for the demo, the better, right? So I kind of wonder if we should start planning, like uh, in, I think that we should put together and, and I should probably assemble this um, with the help of everyone here. But I think we need like a really clear picture of what the end result that we're all working together to create is going to be. And that can either be like um, a document that has lots of screen caps or illustrations or wireframes um, or even like a low fidelity video potentially. But I think I, th I kind of think that we need like um, just a really clear picture of what the users will be doing, um, kind of mapped out like who will be doing what. Um, what technical things do we need to do manually? Just make sure that everything's like really clearly mapped out. Um, and I think that getting that will help. It certainly will help me understand like what, uh, where our blockers are, where our potential risks are in terms of trying to hit this deadline. Not that I want to spend a ton of time on this, but. I, I, I think it can be pretty simple. It's just like uh, we have yep. a DAO, we have a, a, a dandelion DAO that people vote on and then yep do the upgrade pass the upgrade proposal and then we issue all the tokens people have new tokens and then they get to play in a gardens and actually buy, uh, buy and sell into the bonding curve and do the whole nine yards yeah okay yeah i just want to put that into a document just to say like you know these are the things that we need to have um and then i think if we can start like orienting our tickets around accomplishing those tasks, it might be a little simpler than just like, here's the next baby step towards that. Yeah. Yeah, the demo, um, the demo that we need to plan is like Grief was suggesting, uh, a DAO with migration tools. Yeah. These migration tools export the token and the funds. Uh, or, on a gardens that is going to have the commons um, extension, yeah. let's say. We, we should probably not talk about that in this meeting. Just just saying in general, I think that might be the best way to. Uh, I, I think that in the short term, we should schedule some like pair programming sessions to make sure that the, the work that we do need to know happens next happens. Um, and then uh, I think in the next couple of days, I should talk to Griff and Sam and anybody else who will be able to enlighten me um, and put together kind of that other, like the, the end state documentation. Um, and then we can next week show up with probably a lot better organization, I would, I would hope, in terms of, um, you know, having tasks set for people to just like jump on really fast. Okay. Yeah, I think that the demo, the, the final result is going to be very similar to what Gardens is today. Okay. And the um, Uniswap like interface that we have for the bonding um, that uh, I already showed sometime. It these are the these are going to be the two main parts. The bonding curve could also have this curve uh, starts st starts page. Um, but it's something that is additional. Um, uh, I would say that it's not blocking the common upgrade. So um, we pretty we pretty much have already the how it will look like because uh, the interfaces are already made and working and they are functional. The thing is that in order to do this uh, upgrade. We we are working with the IBM CRISPR, the migration tools thing, the everything that we that we are already we, we have already listed in the in the document. But it's the how it looks like we we already have the chance to demo with it. In gardens and in the bonding part.
de converto a ti como un tutor comparto. Yeah, we, we just need like one place we can point to where anyone who's working on this can go see like what, what they're working on and how what they're working on boils or, or like is a component of the larger work we're trying to accomplish. I think that's a great sure. idea. Thanks, Nugget. Okay. Um, I'm happy to work on that with you uh, Thursday or Friday. And I'll be okay. in your time zone basically starting tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That'll help. <laughs> I think that my, my computer is going to die. Before it dies, I would like to share with you the, the thing that we have been working for for the Hatch NFT. Yeah. Um, so I am going to share my screen as soon as possible. Um, It's taking so long. Do you see my screen? Yes. I don't know if, if it's going to... <laughs> My computer is going to die sooner. Yeah, totally. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I can show you what he's working on. I have it here, too. Um, but maybe... Um, is there other agenda topics before that while I pull it up? Well, we, we haven't had a chance to do updates and make sure everyone's clear on what they're working on this week. Uh, but that may be difficult without Sam. I'm sorry, I, I'm still pulling it up, so. So my my computer died, so. Oh, but you can, you're on the phone? Yeah. Nice. Okay, great. Do, does somebody else have the Figma? Yep. At least we can show the... Chris, pulling it up. Yeah. I'm pulling it up, but what did you want to do? Updates really quick before I... Uh, yeah. I'm still hunting yeah. it. Yeah, the, I, I've been talking with Fabio. The thing... No, actually, Sam, Sam, before we get into the NFT thing, uh, Bradley wanted to talk about um, some other updates. Ah, okay, sure. Uh, updates on that. Sam is uh, <laughs> Sam is a bad person. No, uh, the, there is no progress on this. Um, I am working on the on the forum on the on the first of the three forum posts that we are going to uh, show to one hive, uh, the bonding curve one. And this this night, I can I can handle it. Um, in the case of gardens, we have uh, we are blocked by one of the one problem of gardens. Yeah, it sounds like Pavel had a question on execution, but now that uh, we we actually are blocked by gardens. Okay. There is Got a pro it. there is a problem in gardens. So. Um, but yeah, I I can talk with Pavel uh, later. In order to to retrieve the the pull request that he were were working on. And in the case of migration tools. Uh, Wait. Do we have any idea for gardens? Do we have any idea when that might get unblocked? Excuse me. Do we, have any, do we have any idea when gardens, whatever's blocking us for gardens, do we have any idea when that might get unblocked? Uh, Gabi and Pablo are uh, and Pablo are, are working uh, on this uh, specific issue. 
and uh, I think that it's going to be solved this week. What is the issue? Sorry, the the gardens are not loading for Gibeth, for example. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, I think that yeah, I, uh, we have to figure out that because locally work maybe something we need to play in in that field. Okay, great. And then you were talking about migration tool. Actually, we should do EVM CRISPR first. Apollo is not here. I hope he feels better. Does anyone yeah. know how that landed for EVM CRISPR? Um, there are some things in CRISPR that should be improved. Um, so, for example, for the case of the migration tools, we need to support ACL oracles and uh, and parameters for the um, permissions, which is an advanced thing for the permissions. Um, and it is better to have first the complete version of the ABM CRISPR in order to then add these things. Uh, let's say that we first need a basic commons upgrade script and then we add these permissions in order for uh, people who receive the token first not to create a vote, let's say. And um, let's say that we can split these two in this this task in, in two. Um, one is let's create the, the normal script and then we add this feature. And the upgrade on that is that I shared with Paulo some some changes to the VM CRISPR and he still has to integrate them. Uh, they, there are no, not so much advances, let's see. Apollo is still on this. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the migration tool is still blocked by EVM CRISPR. Yeah, totally. This is what I, I was saying that the um, in order to create this advanced thing, we need the EVM CRISPR. So it is the version 1.1 that you were uh, talking about. Got it. OK. And TC convert. Um, what do you think that we can do to that? Um, because the the basic version is is done, we can work with the stats. But this is something that um, we are not going to do now. Uh, I think that it's it should be done after we have the common dashboard. Or and and it's not something that we need to to have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We know it's a nice to have for sure. Um, but I think that we might have we might have some additional front end resources. So uh, I was just thinking we could get prepared in case that happens. But um, but yeah, I think the priority is definitely just getting a grip on exactly what our timeline looks like from now until delivery. Um, Vitor for the config dashboard. Uh, Last week, you had a couple, of, two out of four done? Yeah. Uh, we almost finished the convection volume section. And I guess it's working the ABC section, so we're good. I'm just trying to, <laughs> I just updated my changes and I broke the deployment for just some oh, requirement no. issues and I'm trying to fix it. But yeah, it's a simple, just requirement thing. I'm okay. gonna find out what it is. But yeah, it's a simple one. But other than that, it's good. Nice. Yeah, the bonding curve is also going along nicely. I was, yeah, making some changes today, but it's it's on the way. Excellent. All right. Sounds good. So sounds like everybody has a pretty good idea now of of what they're on to this week.
right? Any any questions about like where work is at? What any any other blockers that didn't get discussed? Yeah, let's take a look at the NFT. Yeah, it's not really a blocker, but this is the this is the work that uh, this we're gonna have a the hatchbot. I mean, look how cool this drawing is, right? <laughs> like the beautiful like mix of organic and robot like automation, like chicken legs and stuff. It's such a cool drawing, such a cool NFT, and only the top ten hatchers, the top ten contrib contributors to the hatch. We'll get one of these bad boys. So, uh, did, Sam, you already got the back end all working? Just like reading yeah, this totally, data and stuff? Yeah, totally, totally. It's working. Uh, the, the only thing that is missing is the, the front end. Um, I wanted to do it by myself, but Marco say, stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked Fabio. And, and the thing is that Fabio was ill during the, the weekend but he's uh, working on it today. Let's see what he has by tomorrow. And if we don't have the cool thing, I will go, uh, I will go with the, with the front end uh, a little bit better than we have right now, but uh, with a front end that is not as good, but, but yet. Uh, Fabio also also said that he had a friend pedro who he was trying to add to the common swarm repo do you think it's worth adding him to the repo so he can support as well uh but he can do um a pull request right yeah i, I mean or we I can know. add him but the no the... i'm just relaying a, D, a telegram dm he sent uh, me so i he I, I think he he already for uh, he's my friend too and I think he already forked and started to look at. So I think you don't need to like add him. Great. To open this. Yeah. No. Sure. That's great. Perfect. That's great because uh, I was really having a bad time with the front end. Let's say that uh, it's not my specialty. So it's great that Fabio uh, got it. Awesome. And yeah, in case that we don't have it um, sooner enough, the, the problem that we have is that it's um, the hatch is going to end soon. So every day that every day that passes, uh, this project has less sense. So it's better to uh, release something than don't re don't release anything. So I would say that we have this hard uh, deadline or tomorrow yeah. or or the day after tomorrow so we have the at least the last 10 days uh of this website to to shield it uh, yeah. is there going to be any blockers on getting the the domain like who controls the domain like to, do we have a website name for it like yes uh uh, uh the the hatch the um, the page name is nft.tcommons.org the thing is that uh we are still looking for uh, it was Chris who is controlling the domain uh, he didn't reach out yet i don't know if you have his I can bring him. okay it's uh, who, sh who should he work with Fabio to push it? Fabio no. might be easier given the time zones, but he's no, he's uh, he should be contacting uh, K. Kai. Kai is not going to be very reachable. K Kai is more Unless... reachable than the <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kai is. is is blocked by by Chris at, at this point. All right, great. Um, well, it's end of the hour here. Uh, I think we covered everything we need to cover. 
correct. Everyone clear? Cool. Yeah, so, um, Griff, you said Thursday. We can we, we can chat on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Let's set up a time on Thursday or Friday. Either one is great. Okay. Sounds good. I'll, I'll uh, I'm going to be out all day on Friday, so let's try Thursday. Cool. Thursday. Thursday evening. Yeah. Perfect. That'll be great for me too.